Here's how to match the color of the subtitles to the actual brand's color for your UGC video. Brands love it when you do this. You're going to go ahead and go to Google and you're going to type in Hex Color Picker Chrome Extension. Click on the first result and you're going to install this Chrome extension. It's going to appear right here in the extensions tab. This is how it looks when you launch the extension. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your brand's website. Right now I'm making a video for this financial service. Right here, I can see that the two main colors they're using is this blue and this orange color and obviously white. I'm going to go ahead and launch my hex color picker. You're going to hover your mouse over on this little Doppler right here, whatever it's called, click on it. And then you're going to see that your mouse is going to become this little square thing. So you're going to just hover over that color that you want to pick and then click on that color. Hex color is going to give you the hex code name so that way you can use this, write this down and then insert it into your subtitles. I'm going to show you how. Here I've got my orange color written down. This is my blue one from their website. Firstly, add all of my captions in the captions app, not CapCut, just because it's easier and quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and open captions and then I'm going to go and click style. Next, I'm going to select the template and the style of the captions I want and then I want to go over to color tab. Click on the color that you want to change, head on over to sliders menu and then click on display p3 hex color and you're going to write down that six digit code that you wrote down on your post-it from hex color picker then you can change the active color or the emphasis color or the main color make the captions look the way that you want them to look for this video i personally kept just the white and the orange captions because the blue ones turned out to be too dark and it was really hard to see but you guys get the idea now something else that also helps a lot is when you export your video make sure that you're submitting to the brand two versions a clean edits version with no subtitles no text on screen no music and then also the final and finished ad version as well. That way the brand has options to use whichever option fits them better for their specific purpose. Save this video and follow if you want to learn how to start, grow, and scale your UGC business.